uh, about seven o'clock in the evening <laughs> on uh, Friday, October fourth. And if you remember, we went to bed. I went to bed uh, uh, around seven o'clock in the morning. So I'm now just getting up. So it's been. I'm just gonna get my day started. Uh, I'm going through some of my uh, YouTube stroll. Right now, I'm on uh, Kitty Mama's uh, 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 video watching that. And at the same time, I'm watching SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> and you hear the uh, Android right here. The Android's here. The, the, with the light wallpaper with the uh, Hatsune Miku. Uh, this, uh, the wallpaper that I have, the live wallpaper. So, everything's moving along. And on the, on the so schedule for today is uh, i got to do some cleaning up. Uh, to get the electronics bench uh, operational uh, starting from Monday, Monday is start to do the upgrade for that, for the electronics bench. There will be another system placed here, so uh, that will sort of handle the entire electronics bench. And what I ended up doing is I ended up uh, pulling my uh, IPTV off of Wi-Fi and put it onto Wired. I often find that Wired is a Wired uh, uh, RJ45 uh, functions better than your standard uh, Wi-Fi connection. Even the Wi-Fi advertised to be, uh, well, it is listed to be a higher stream at uh, 300 megabits per second. Uh, the wired connection, even though it maxes out at 100, often seems to be faster than the uh, the um, the uh, uh, the uh, Wi-Fi. So. I don't know why that is, uh, maybe because there's interference and uh, other issues that involve with Wi-Fi, but uh, wired here seems to work better than Wi-Fi, so when the option is, when the option arises to wire the uh, device to the internet or to the network, uh, that's the choice. Wired is, is what my, my choice here, as opposed to wireless. Anyways, that's about it uh, for now. I will check with, check back in with, in with you uh, later during the day uh, as things start start get rolling along. Uh, maybe if my place is clean enough, I can show you around a little bit. Uh, otherwise, yeah, see you in a little bit. It's uh, one o'clock in the morning, and uh, the day has gotten started. <laughs> Apparently, the way things are right now, I'm working nights. So that's kind of the way things go. Sometimes I'm working days, sometimes I'm working nights. But now, the research desk is going in full, and you will see that I've got two things going at the same time. I have. Uh, a documentary up on the, uh, the IPTV, and I have uh, my YouTube stroll down on the bottom one. So I can do both at the same time. Uh, sometimes you have to, and this is what I was saying before, you have to uh, vet or go through several documentaries. You're not looking for everything in a documentary. You're looking at for specific points. You take your notes during the documentary. You look for different things that are interesting and you see what you can sort of correlate as you go through documentary after documentary, seeing if you can correlate different things. Uh, you One, you'll, you could be looking for behavior. In other words, if you're watching documentaries, do a lot of documentary writing, you can actually do some quantum psychology in here. You can actually detect behaviors. You can look at behavior, look at how people behave on average uh, for various different situations. And you can also see the difference between uh, uh, a um, documentary that's done for a specific channel uh, for entertainment purposes, like called infotainment, or if it's done for a specific organization. In other words, the documentary makers aren't themselves interested in the documentary itself, but they are sort of uh, creating uh, something for somebody else. And th this is, in many cases, what happens sometimes is that you don't always have the uh, documentary maker, the filmmaker, being a person who's interested, but, but rather influenced and pushed or driven by a uh, person who is doing research. In other words, uh, the interests of the filmmaker are not necessarily aligned with those who fund or produce the movie. And this is where you can get discrepancies in what you see and what you hear. Uh, and as, if you're a researcher like myself who is doing documentaries, uh, and your documentary is simply the presentation of the work that you're doing, then these things is how this is how you sort of uh, begin to gauge the differences between what you want to put out and what's already out there. And so this is kind of what's happening here. And uh, 
<laughs> that's kind of how I set everything up. Anyways, uh, that's it. That's it for about uh, about it for now. Uh, I texted. Uh, I tested yesterday's uh, uh, new B new format for BBT. Well, we don't have Big Bang Theory RL. Uh, tested that out like to focus on and it worked out videos. very well so I think we should we're analyze, going to continue on with that format and see okay, if we can and because I've got, we've got some new uh, editing uh, capacities on the end right now so that's where we're going to go all right take it easy i'll see you in a bit it's uh, 5 30 in the morning yeah <laughs> it's been a long day uh rather complex it's not really complex it's just the way things go is that you have to go through these documentaries, you have uh, text to search and uh, from your notes, you try to sort of uh, find out more about what has gone on in history. Well, not necessarily history, but there, this is this bit. There are things in this world, uh, information that is hidden to us. And you can bring out this hidden information, this sort of knowledge that sort of been tucked away uh, by uh, sort of uh, putting together pieces of a very large puzzle. Because that's what it is. And that's kind of the way research goes: is that there is no particular uh, direction. Imagine this: take take a large puzzle, but scatter the pieces all over the world and all over the universe. And it's your job, or so 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 so-called job, because it's really studying. It's uh, schoolwork all year round. So you get your you, you have in school you have a history, you have an English or languages, uh, you have the sciences, uh, the mathematics, and everything else, and the arts. These all things intertwine, so that you can go out and um, develop as you learn more. A better understanding how the universe works. Uh, the thing is, is that everything in this world has had a history. Uh, what you're taught in school is very, very superficial, and more often than not, there is so much more to history. Uh, <laughs> people say, "Oh, I find history in school so boring." Man, history is so boring, and they're right because the history in school is boring. It's, it's, it, it doesn't even represent a quarter. I would, I would, I would actually go further and say it doesn't even rep represent five percent of what actually occurred in history. If you go into the archives, and that's where you, this is where you have to go, you have to go into these archives, and there are a number, there are a number of them around, and they're basically all over the place, uh, and figure out how history uh, was really put together. In other words. Uh, you find out very quickly, particularly after your second year of university, that the things you were told in high school, your standard knowledge of history, is not actually the way history occurred, and there's actually a lot more that went on that people just simply either aren't talking about, don't want to talk about, or have forgotten. And as an explorer, it's your job to go out and find these things because. Invariably, uh, you wonder why a, 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 natural physicist like, a natural physicist like myself is interested in history. And that's because that there are scientists uh, in, in the world, uh, or, or in history, like Tesla, who have done some very advanced research, and a large chunk of that research is missing. So the question is, what was he actually working on? What was he looking at? Did he see something about the universe that was not transmitted forward to standard knowledge today? Uh, and if that's the case, then you got to sort of find out what that is and what he may have been possibly looking at. And so what happens is that that's, this sort of uh, <laughs> takes your search uh, for a new understanding in physics. Uh, and a new understanding of science that uh, it takes it into some pretty bizarre places, bizarre directions that you would not normally expect. And this is kind of the way it goes here. This week as I've done, I think I've maybe looked at 15 to 20 different documentaries. Uh, this has led to uh, another, I think I've got another 15 documentaries to do next week. Uh, and you, you said you, I would think that Things would have slowed down a little bit this week, and that's not the way they are. This this year, this October, is shaping up to be the way last October was. Very busy, very heavy, 
and just sort of that's just the way things are anyways it's the end of the day i will talk to you again tomorrow uh so we'll start the day all over again probably tomorrow is going to be a two-day vlog a couple of two days saturday and sunday and and tomorrow is not tomorrow tomorrow is just in a few hours when i get up again because i'm going to bed now it's 5 30 in the morning i should get up again sometime afternoon all right i'll talk to you later bye bye